Hey guys, welcome to 610 Camper. My name is Ethan the Giant. This is my 2016 Dodge Ram Bighorn Edition. And today I'm just gonna do a quick cleanup of the interior uh, as well as the rear camper setup. Show you guys what I've done to the truck, what I plan to do to the truck, um, as well as some cool fun facts about Dodge Rams that you should probably know if you wanna buy one because they're special. So before I clean the truck, I'm gonna show you guys its current dusty state just to give you guys an idea of what it's like to have a camper truck that's also your daily and you also use for work. Myself, I do construction and landscaping, so I'm in a lot of dusty and muddy places. So likewise, my truck gets very dusty and muddy. Um, the reason I wanna show you this is because I have some mods that I'm gonna be putting on the truck in the future that are gonna keep the truck cleaner, especially in the camper. Um, so let's get started with that. Right now, so as the truck sits, we've got WeatherTech mats, we've got a Uniden um, CB radio with, I think it's a C40, I forgot what the name is, but I can put it in the description if you wanna see it. Um, it works great, I can talk to truckers and I can talk to my friends, so I like it. Um, Moss yoke knife and fire starter, great for cutting sandwiches, not a whole lot else. We got pillows, my guitar, a mess, some work shoes. Um, normally I'll put my duffel bag here with all my clothes when I have this thing in camper mode. And then I'll have my Coleman uh, ice cooler over there. I'll usually put four or five ice packs if I go for a few days. Also I have a first aid kit that is fully packed with everything I could ever need. We got some spray glue here, that's for a future model. We can get into that later. Um, as for the actual suspension of the truck, right now uh, we have helper bags from Airlift in the rear. Uh, one of them is blown right now and I'm getting that fixed on Monday. So the truck sits a little bit lower on the left side, but... <laughs> It drives fine, so I'm not too concerned, but I do want to get that fixed. Um, the truck is currently sitting on some 34 and a half, I call them 35s, but really they're 34 and a half BF Goodrich KO2s. Um, the exact spec is 285, 65, 70, sorry, 285, 65, 20. Um, I'm also running a two inch front level and two inch spacers all the way around. Uh, just to bring the front up and then give the truck a bit of a more aggressive stance. Okay, so here is how the camper is usually kind of set up when I go camping. I'll usually keep these two open just for airflow, um, and then I'll sometimes prop that one open. The reason it's not open right now is because the gas struts have blown, um, and this is a budget video, so I ain't got money to fix that yet, but we'll get there. We've done this in another video, so I'll go over it quick. Plates, pots, pans, spices, rags, four refillable Coleman bottles, cutting board and sink combo, Coleman fold and go, all my utensils, and then we got cleaning supplies, another pan, some games, stuff to keep busy all in here. And then I have this canvas cover that just Velcros over it to kind of keep any dust off of the uh, the plates and such. And then I got a little spray painted logo. I did that, I think it looks cool. I'm gonna keep it. Oh. One thing this needs is sliders. And I do not have sliders, so I gotta muscle it in there, but it's fine. More over the camper. I have put a handle on this so it's easier to pull it in and out, which is super awesome. Um, we've got a 20 liter, five gallon uh, water jug. This lasts me about two nights with four people, probably three, depending on what you cook. Um, but it lasts me like all week. It's great, so I like it. Pills and blankets, nothing special. Got a five inch foam mattress. And then I also have this Reflectix cover that goes over the back glass should I want to keep the heat in or privacy or whatever. I don't normally put it up, but it's there. This is where I usually put my firewood. Right now I've got my weed whacker and a few other work stuff in there. So I'm just gonna leave that how it is, but that's normally where I put the wood. I like having campfires and it's nice to bring wood with you. So you can do that. Let's close this up. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, um, truck has a Flowmaster Super 44 exhaust system on it, so it's got a little bit of a <clears throat> grumble, which is nice. It's also bad for fuel economy because it makes me go Wah! And uh, boss man don't like that one, so we, got, we, we take it easy now. So I recently replaced the battery on this truck. Um, the one that was on there kept failing on me whenever I run the radio for like 10 minutes. So. I kept the old battery because I want to put it in the back of the truck and I want to run a battery isolator. I think it's called an isolator. It's a little module that basically charges the back battery when the front one is 
up to some voltage that is safe and that will allow you to start your truck. So that way, when I drive the truck for work during the week, that back one gets charged, so when I'm camping on the weekend, I have a little bit of 12 volt power, and I don't have to worry about killing my truck battery, because that sucks, especially when you're in the middle of nowhere. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run that uh, secondary battery into the back of the truck where the camper is, um, and then I plan on putting a, probably a three or a four switch panel with a voltage gauge and then two USBs so I can charge my phone. Um, I can turn on lights because I want to get some LED lights back there because the lighting, as you can probably tell, sucks back there. So once that's all done, it'll look really great and I can't wait to make that video. Um, I also kind of want to delete the rear seat. I don't know if I'm going to, but I kind of want to delete the single seat that's behind the drivers. Um, and I want to build a, a, a box of some sort to where I could put my clothes, have maybe drawers, something simple, something removable, um, or not, I don't know. I still haven't decided, I'm still toying around with that idea, so I might wait on that. Two seconds later. There's tons of real estate in there for a nice drawer set up. So I think I'm gonna do uh, a big box with two or three pull-out drawers, and then uh, a drawer that pops up like this with all my toiletries and stuff, um, because this space is kind of like, from here over, is pretty useless if I do the drawers this way. So if I make something pop up, at least I can you know pull it up, grab my toothbrush, toothpaste, you know, whatever. That's the seat, and then that's the shape of the actual box. There'll be drawers here. Uh, and then this space will have a cavity that pops up. Um, I'll probably just use like a gas strut with some type of slider to, uh, to pop it up and down. I don't know, I have to figure that out still. It's now the next day. I haven't touched anything else in the truck after I took that seat out. Um, I'm gonna wait on the rear drawer setup until I get all the other stuff that I bought off of Amazon because I got some cool little mods coming and I'm really excited for that. So I'm gonna wait till those come in and then once they do, I'll do a video putting everything together and then the truck will be somewhat done to whatever state that it's at at that point because really it's never going to be done i'm always going to be working on it but for now i'm going to go to either spencer smith or bayfront park i'm not sure yet and go watch the sunset and play on my game boy because why not Again. You won't do it again. I love Hamilton. Because <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. 